Okay. Mm -hmm. Sylvia Rivera tribute okay. right here. Mm -hmm. Summer did a very interesting thing. I had never seen a lot of Sylvia Rivera pictures except very choice ones that were allowed from the Sylvia Rivera crew to put on the internet. But with some research, Summer is almost a dead ringer. Yes. Yeah. 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 Give us your best Sylvia Rivera. You have two minutes. Sum up the evening as if Sylvia Rivera has come back here to see what we did to her. Full accent, full behavior. Close it down. Do you know what I do love about this community? Is that we have men here. We have women here. And we have men, women here. And we have women, men here. And we have all these people together, happy together. And this is what I had been fighting for. When I stood there in 1973 for my famous speech, I told them that I was there because men were in jail and gay women were in jail and there was nobody there to help them. And all the middle class white gay people and all the middle class white lesbians, they didn't want anything to do with them. And so who did those people write? They wrote to me. Because they knew that I would do something for them. because I represented the street transvestite action revolutionaries. And what I was fighting for was what we have here today. <clears throat> Men in heels, women with strap-on penises, fabulous people here dancing and floating around like fairies. This is what I think we are here to do. We are here to show love for one another. And I did not realize that until I was very old and I fell in love with a woman. And she got me off of drinking and I came to God. I joined the church. I started doing, for, doing things for everybody. I was always doing things for the street girls, the transgender girls. And by the way, transgender is not what we would call them then. We were just, we were just fabulous. We were girl, we were, we were little girls, you know? Me and Marsha and, <coughs> and Bambi and all of us, you know? So, um, so well done. <laughs> And, and here's the last thing. And I'll leave you with this. And I'll leave you with this. People like to say that I threw the first drink at Stonewall. I was there with all the other black and Latina street girls, but I did not throw that first drink. I threw the second <coughs> drink. And your line is, and remember, I'm forever your girl. And remember. I'm forever your girl. See you next week. Yeah.